because I live in the rural area and I see the need and I know that the community does not always know where they can get resources from when they're suffering with cancer and other terminal illness and I wanted to help. And were there instances in your life with family members, friends or something where you saw they were struggling with this kind of thing that made you say, hey, we, we need this? Yes. My dad was di diagnosed with congestive heart failure. And while he was going through congestive heart failure, we had to actually pay for the COBRA insurance, which was $500 a month. Because we know if we didn't get the COBRA, he could not receive any services. Even though he got on disability, disability doesn't automatically give you insurance. If your income is too high, you can't get Medicaid. And once you're on disability, you can't get Medicare until two years after you've um, became disabled. Okay, I mean, In 2017, I went, went to the state, you know, applied for it, put my business out there, to, uh, Browns Ferry Community Outreach, and we actually had a, a banquet back in two, 2017 where we honored Ms. Florine Lennon. Um, we had another mother that had died from cancer and left four kids, and the money that we raised from that banquet, we gave to those families that were affected, that had someone that died from cancer or was going through cancer. We had a young lady from Andrews that had just been diagnosed with breast cancer. And thank God she's one of our success stories. In 2021, she just bought her first home. Tell me about um, what, what exactly it is you do to help people. Okay, as of 2021, um, we're now a 501c3 nonprofit. So what we do is we try to, we help you uh, with resources. We try to connect you to, um, we help with finances. If we have to help them with their medication, if they need a ride to their doctor's appointment, and we also partner with other organizations because we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We just want to connect everybody to resources as well as helping them uh, along the way. And you say there's resources available in Georgetown County people may not know about. What's an example or two of those, those resources? Okay, like neighbor to neighbor. People don't know that neighbor to neighbor is transportation. If you can't get to your doctor appointment, you can reach out to neighbor to neighbor. And they have volunteers, people that take you to your doctor's appointment. They may all take you to the pharmacy. Um, we also have St. James Health and Wellness, where if you don't have insurance, you can still come to us because we have a slide and ski field. So I also work for that organization, so I know a lot of the resources that are out here in the community that people just don't know about. And do you find there's a lot of people that uh, need your help trying to figure out where to go? Well, lately we've been finding, you know, we not only help with the cancer and other terminal illness, we've had um, COVID patients. You know, we all know that COVID is out there. When COVID affects the family, you know, you have a lot of health issues after COVID. COVID, some people survive, you know, with minimum, but other people have lung diseases. You know, they have all these other issues behind COVID. Now, you do have a website so that people can go to to learn more about it? Right. Our website is www.bfcoutreach.com, and you can find out we have our board members on there. We have the other offices to the organization because we also have secretary and treasurer. We have three board members. And you will also see some of the things that we've done in the community as well as some of the people that we've helped along the way. Is there a phone number to call? There is. The phone number to contact us is 843-833-5770. And also on our website, you can also make donations to the organization because all of our money that we've gotten so far came from the community as well as businesses that have donated to us. And we appreciate all of the support. Do you have any fundraisers coming up? Sure do. Um, on April the 2nd, 2022, we're going to have our first fundraiser at, at Greater St. Stephen's AME Church, where um, the Reverend Carl Anderson is the pastor. It's going to be a red carpet children's affair. Mm -hmm. All the money raised from that pageant will go directly to the nonprofit.